guys. I'm gonna do one more song before I leave, and it's a special song to all of us in this room. Now, to tell you a little bit, I have a couple more minutes left. Can I grab that water? Sorry. I think it's on the edge of the table. I'm trying to play it cool like I don't need a drink, but I'm really thirsty. <laughs> Had the opportunity a couple of weeks ago. My dad's a pastor out in Dallas. His name is Tony Evans. I don't know. Um, some of you have heard him yell at you, thank you, on the radio out here. I uh, have an opportunity to minister with my dad on numerous occasions, but a couple months ago, I showed up to an event, and I kind of sometimes fly places and don't know what I'm there to do. A lot of, most of the time, it's lead worship, but on this event, <clears throat> they asked me to put together a special rendition of, of the national anthem. So I was like, great, and we did it. But what I didn't know is that I was singing it before uh, President Bush spoke and, and, and Tony Dungy was speaking. And uh, I think Nick back in the AV truck has a picture. Y'all tell me when it's up or start clapping when the, when the picture's up. He put, yeah, it's up. Okay, so after this, we got, we got a quote from Tony Dungy. Can y'all read that quote on that screen up there? Is it too small? Okay, well, he, he, he emailed us after we sang it, and that's what he said. So celebrating our freedom and the fact that we live in a beautiful country where people out here, does anybody have any family in the armed services or family that has been? Let's give them a round of applause today for the... The fact that your, your relatives and your family fighting for our freedom is the reason why we can sit in a room just like this and worship our Savior. So I'm going to end my set with our national anthem, celebrating the people who have fought hard that allow us to come and sit right here in this room. Let's hear it for Anthony Evans.